Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to The King of Random. Today, we're going to be trying out something a little bit different in that this whole video is going to be one take. We're going to show you an experiment from start to finish without cutting the camera to several different angles. We wanted to try this because it gives you a better sense of what it's like to really do an experiment in real time. Unfortunately, that does mean that when I garble my words or trip over something, we're gonna leave that video footage in. Hopefully there won't be too much of that. Not too long ago, we had a video where we showed you taking lithium batteries and lighting them on fire. They kind of exploded and then burned with a really bright magenta flame and it looked really cool. A few people commented pointing out that we should try taking that same lithium and dropping it into some water. That's what we're gonna to try today because lithium should react with water and hopefully we'll get that same bright pink flame. Now, as a first test, I have a strip of lithium that I've already taken out of a battery and I'm just gonna try lighting it on fire with a blowtorch. Check out our setup we've got here. We're gonna take one battery. We'll show you taking the lithium out of that one. We've got these three batteries which are already partially open but not completely and we'll be removing the lithium from those. I have here some lithium that I've already taken out of one of the batteries and now we're going to try lighting that on fire with a blowtorch and seeing if we can get that pink flame we're looking for. Let's come over to a slightly drier spot. I don't want to put it down on the water because as this experiment may indicate, it should react with water. Here's a dry spot. Let's get the blowtorch working. Glass is on. Wow! There we have it, a fairly exciting and almost violent reaction. That may have even put a little divot in the concrete pad, that's pretty exciting. So now let's look at how we get that lithium. I have here a, an ultimate lithium battery and you have to have the ultimate lithium kind or it's something else entirely different inside. So let's take a look at opening one of these up. It's just a piece of plastic sheeting around the outside. Now I'm using our wire cutters to undo the crimped metal holding the top of this battery on. There we go, this little top piece pops right off. We kind of need to peel this. Kind of like we're opening a weird shaped tiny little metal can. Now we can see what's inside of our lithium battery here. It's a roll of some plastic, a couple kinds of metal, and some chemicals. And the different parts of the metal are attached to the positive and negative ends of the battery. Let's see if we can pull this whole roll out. Not really sure what the best way to do this is. Open up the casing a little more still. This is the part we usually just edit right out of the videos because it's not very exciting to watch. But as I said, the point is to really see what it's like to do an experiment in real time. Sometimes it's not super smooth. There we go. So now we have little tab that's part of what connects the metal strips inside to the housing. We can set down my tools here. So now we can start to unroll this. I'm just trying to make sure my hands are dry so I don't start setting anything off as I unroll it. And we've got two strips in here. 
This one back here is our lithium. And I'm not 100% sure what this one is, honestly. But it smells kind of like rotten eggs, so it might have sulfur on it or something. All right, now, the whole video is going to be one take until after I've said my finished closing bit, and then we're gonna show you some other slow-mo behind the scenes footage, kind of. So our cameraman is gonna get those cameras started now, and then I'm going to drop this lithium strip into our bowl of water. All right, here goes. Lithium in a bowl of water. Boom! Pink flame and orange flame and lots of smoke. Beautiful, that reacted so quickly too. Woo! And then it popped. Wow, I think that actually started melting the glass on my bowl. Holy cow. Check this out. Like there is a rough patch here and I, it, it could just be something built up on the surface, but I am pretty sure that started etching down into the glass. Wow, that's crazy. Well, I've got some other batteries already torn open. Oh, that broke the glass. Well, that's exciting. That's not even the part where, oh, there we go. It started over here where it had heated it up and then it just cracked all the way along here and opened that up down there. Well, that's the kind of thing that would usually be thrown into random happens at the end of a video. Well, the bowl's already broken, but I've still got a couple of batteries. Ooh, you probably don't want to let those get wet. Actually, let's uh, Try tossing one of those in and see what happens. This could be stupid of me. While that's in the bowl, I'm just gonna try and unwrap one more and throw it into what's left of my bowl. Most of my bowl is gone, but it's still holding some water. There it is. There's the edge. My gloves are all wet, so I'm a little nervous about touching this. All right, there's our lithium, bundling it up. You don't want to start those cameras again, or should I just throw it in? All right, I'm just gonna throw it in. Here we go. And it ignites again. Woo! That is a bright little burning ball of metal in the water. Very cool. Well, our battery that I just threw in there seems to be corroding a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's actually going to go very far. It is wrapped up in other pieces of metal and in some paper and whatever the other chemicals are in there, but there's a chunk of our reacted lithium in our still very much broken and ruined bowl. These things happen. Bowls aren't too expensive, fortunately. But there you go, lithium torn out of a lithium battery stripped of its other wrappings and whatever else is around it, crumpled up a little bit and then dropped into water. It ignites beautifully. It has that super bright pink and orange glow to it. It's really cool. It's a very fun color. And overall, this is a pretty fun and easy experiment. And you can see exactly how long it took. You know, it's not that easy to open the batteries. That was the biggest delay is watching me slowly peel back the metal shell of the battery. Not exciting, I know, but hopefully we made up for it by showing you how exciting it, how exciting it is to drop our lithium right into water. That really bursts into flames very entertainingly and obviously gets really hot, hot enough that it melted the side of the bowl, which then cracked and is now worthless and has to be thrown away. But 
it's a cool experiment and I'm glad that some people commented in the other video that we should try this out. And it, it was fun. It's really fun to do. Uh, I'm not saying that you should do this at home, but if you do do it at home, you know, try to be very careful. Very well ventilated area. A little too much ventilation today, honestly. I was wearing gloves, I was wearing long sleeves, I was wearing glasses. Just be extremely careful if you do anything like this. Thank you for joining us for this video today. Remember to come gear yourself up with products and merch at thekingofrandom.com. See you there. Less crumpled up. Let's see if it still lights on fire. Hmm. Not so much. This is random happens. It's a different cut. I know. <laughs>